Okay, so we're diving into some listener notes today and um, to improve their English listening skills, right? Like the, the key to unlocking fluency, which I think yeah. is a really cool way to think about it. It is. So I thought maybe we could dig into that a little. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So the first thing I noticed, understanding native speakers better. Right. And I thought, yeah. that's such a common goal it is. for English learners. It is. It is. And you know, it's interesting because a lot of people, I think when they're first starting to learn English, or maybe even when they've been learning it for a while, they think, oh, I need to expand my vocabulary. Right. I need to, you know, master grammar. Uh. And those things are very, very important. Mm -hmm. But what's really fascinating is that listening mm -hmm. to native speakers, yeah. it's not just about understanding the words. Right. It's about understanding the music of the language. The music. I love that mm -hmm. you use that analogy because yeah. it, it really is. It's like it is. you can tell the difference right. immediately when you hear someone who's very fluent in English. Even if they make yes. small grammatical errors, Absolutely. you can just tell yes. the musicality is there. The rhythm, the intonation. Yeah. The way that native speakers just naturally use the language. Yeah. It's like they're dancing with yeah. the words. And, and that's something that you can't really learn from a textbook, you know? Yeah. No. Absolutely not. And I think something that I noticed in my own language learning journey was it's not even just about of the language, but it's the way that all of the pieces fit together. Exactly. Yeah. So like you were talking about grammar, for example. Right. I feel like I didn't really truly understand how to use tenses correctly. Yeah. Right. Until I had spent a significant amount of time just yes. listening yes. to English yeah. being spoken. Uh, exactly. And then it was almost like my brain was like, oh, okay, so that's how it's supposed to sound. Yeah, it just clicks, doesn't it? It's like your your yeah. brain starts to make those connections naturally without you even realizing it. Yeah. And you start to, you know, absorb those grammatical patterns yeah. and you start to use them correctly without even thinking about the rules. Exactly. It's uh, like your brain is secretly becoming best friends with English grammar. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Without yeah. you even knowing about it. Without you even realizing it, yeah. So I think that's so cool. Um, one thing this listener specifically mentioned was subtitles. Oh, and yeah. I thought that's interesting yeah. because I feel like... Subtitles, they can be a really useful tool. They can. But they can also be a little bit of a crutch. They can be a crutch, yeah. If you're not careful. Absolutely. So what do you think is the best way to approach subtitles? So I think initially, right, especially if you're a visual learner... Having subtitles on can be incredibly helpful. Okay. Because you're connecting the spoken word with the written word, right? right? And especially, I find, like, if you're watching something... That has maybe more complicated vocabulary or a faster pace of speech, mm -hmm. having those subtitles there can just kind of help bridge the gap. Right, like give you a little bit... Of a safety net. A little bit of a safety net, exactly. So what do you think about, like... Starting with subtitles, and then yeah. as you get more comfortable... You're know, turning them off. I think that's a fantastic approach, actually. Mm -hmm. Because I know for me, I tend to be someone who, when I'm watching something, I want to relax and I just want to, you know, enjoy it. And so I keep the subtitles on. Right. But I found that if I make a conscious effort to turn them off... Even if it's just for, like, a few minutes at a time, mm -hmm. my brain is forced to work a little bit harder. Yeah. And it really improves my listening comprehension in the long run. So would you say... It's kind of like training wheels. Training wheels. Exactly. Yeah. Where you want to get to the point... Where you can ride your bike without them. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be reliant on those training wheels forever. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you've already given us some great... Ideas for active listening. Right. Right. We've got movies, we've got TV shows. Mm -hmm. What else, what other resources are out there for English learners who- really want to improve that listening comprehension. So beyond the usual suspects, right? Because you've got music, you've got movies, you've got TV shows. Right. But something that I've found incredibly helpful is actually audio dramas. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it's like watching a movie. But with your ears. I love that, okay. Right, so you're really immersed in the story. You have to pay close attention to the dialogue to follow along. Right. And there are some fantastic audio dramas out there specifically designed for 
English learners. And that's such a good point because well, you mentioned you to pay attention. And I think that's the key difference between active listening yes. and passive listening. Absolutely. Because I know I'm guilty of this. Sometimes I'll put on a podcast or something in the background. Right. I'm not really listening. Exactly. It's just kind of like they're it's background noise. Yeah. yeah, it's background noise. Exactly. Exactly. And that's not gonna help you improve your listening skills. Right. You have to be actively engaged with the material. So if you're going to take one thing away from this deep dive today, what would you say is the most important thing for improving your English listening comprehension? I would say choose one active listening technique and commit to it for a week. OK, I love that. So specific. Yeah. One week. Yeah. So are we talking like watching a movie with subtitles? That could be it. It could be watching a movie with subtitles, maybe trying turning them off for a few minutes at a time. Okay. It could be listening to an audio drama. It could be finding a podcast that you love. Okay. That also provides transcripts so that you can read along if you need to. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that. So that you can really test your comprehension. So pick your technique one week, see what happens. See what happens, exactly. Oh. And I think you'll be amazed at how much progress you can make in just seven days. I love it. Just by actively listening. Awesome. Thank You're you. welcome. This was great. I feel like I learned a lot and I hope our listeners did too. Me too. So, yeah. Until next time. Bye.